The Quest for Clonk Tor's Gold It was a long time ago, in a village not too far away. There was a man named Clonk Tor who lived on a hill. Klongtor sits in his house and eats his breakfast. Klongtor was a medium-sized man. Not too tall, not too big at all. In fact, he was a pretty normal guy. But he had a serious problem with paying his rent. He would always put it off and would forget about it. While he's eating, his landlord appears as if out of nowhere. Klongtor! I've been patient about this rent stuff for months now. I'm turning your water off first thing tomorrow, unless you get me that money. Please, sir. Give me one week. I can make it all up to you, I promise. This, of course, was a lie. He had no idea how he would pay his rent. But he had to say something. Klonktor, you've put me in an awkward situation. I need that money fast. That means if I don't have it by this Sunday, you're cooked. Klonktor fled to the only place he could think of, to his friend, Peanut. Peanut was his name, but Peanuts were not his game. He was a very wise man, and knew many things of the land and its mysteries. Klonktor knew he could help him. Oh, what's wrong, my boy? A terrible state has befallen me. I am in no shape to pay rent, yet I have promised almost a year's rent in less than a week. What should I do? He's going to take away my water and I will be very thirsty. Go into the snowy mountains and find the abdominal snowman. Abdominal? Yes, he has a very large gut, but he also has a very large loot to give you if you can beat him. But you must head out now if you want to make it in time. And head off he did, with nothing but some food and his clothes on his back. Klongtor has been roaming for miles now. He grows weary of his travels, and he must take a break. Suddenly, A cricket named Stan comes to greet him. Greetings! I suppose your name is Klongtor, yes? Yes, but how do you know this? That doesn't matter! What matters most is how to beat the Manticore. The what? You will find out soon. Just listen. He shoots spikes from his tail. Dodge them, and he will recognize your greatness. With that, Stan vanishes into thin air. Klongtor hears some screaming from the woods behind him. And sure enough, it's a manticore close by. He is heckling a young lady. He approaches the manticore with caution. Put her down! Fool, I will do whatever I wish. The manticore turns and shoots thorns at lightning speeds towards the Klongtor. Remembering what the cricket stand said, he dodged the thorns. I have been defeated. You are worthy of my small loot and of this lady. Klongtor was left with a sword and a shield. And of course the lady. And she decides to accompany him on his long quest. They come across a very deep tar pit that traps all things that touch it. They think about it for a while.
they decide to go around it. They eventually reach the top of the snowy mountain. They go into the obvious evil looking cave and confront the abdominal snowman. Plumtor is very scared by this time, but luckily for him, the snowman is very stupid. He sees Klontor's sword and runs for his life out of the cave and falls down a cliff. But the snowman grabs his lady friend on the way. They both died. But luckily for Klontor again, his lady friend was really a crossdresser. Oh well, Klontor still got the gold. Klontor arrives back home. He has a celebration party at his house, where him, his landlord, and Peanut play some poker. And that was the quest for Klontor's gold. The end.